Hey, what's going on, friends? Welcome back to another episode of the Stew on this podcast. And uh, happy Memorial Day as uh, this episode drops. It is Memorial Day. So hopefully you and your family, you had a wonderful weekend with each other. You're enjoying today. If you're listening to this past uh, Monday, hopefully you had a fantastic uh, time just to be with your family, to relax, to refresh, and get ready for this week. Uh, hey, we are inching closer and closer to the summertime. And if you're anything like me and with our family, like we're getting to a point now where we're signing Micah up for a whole bunch of stuff. And uh, coming here in the next couple of weeks, not only are we going to be welcoming in our third kid to our family, uh, as uh, we are really just days away at this point, um, but the summertime is upon us, and uh, we were looking at the calendar just the other day, and we were realizing that our oldest daughter, Micah, has a lot of stuff coming up. In fact, there are going to be three nights of the week that she's going to be busy either with doing uh, t-ball uh, or swimming, and then another round of t-ball the following day. And so we tend to look at summertime and we think, man, this is going to be the opportunity for me to catch up, to slow down, to uh, go on vacations and get refreshed and do all those kinds of things. But uh, for a lot of us, that's really just not the case. In fact, while we feel like this is supposed to be a time for us to be slowing down, it really kind of feels like this is the time where things are maybe even speeding up or just getting busier. Uh, Because even though Uh, summertime is upon us and we're looking forward to times that we get to make memories as a family and do things as a family. The reality is that means that we're going to be with family. The kids are going to be around all the time and I still have my responsibilities of work. My wife's going to have her responsibilities of work and again, adding a newborn to the mix only is going to make things a little bit crazier. And here's uh, what I know. What I know is that for many of you, you're going to be experiencing the exact same thing. You're going to have um, all kinds of stuff come up within this time, this time of summer. And uh, if we're not careful, we'll hit the fall and we'll just be asking ourselves, where did that time of refresh go? And so I wanted to do something a little bit different for these next few weeks. Really, it's going to take us all the way through the summer months. But I just wanted to uh, provide you the opportunity to pause. Um, I don't know how often you listen to this podcast, and I don't know if you're like me. I listen to all my podcasts on like 1.75 speed, but I wanted to provide you an opportunity through these next few weeks just to find time to pause, and this is really what I want to focus on. I believe right here, right now, during what is supposed to be a time of refreshment uh, in the summertime can be an opportunity for us to grow closer to Jesus and to grow stronger and exercise the muscle and the gifting of prayer. And so for these next few weeks, I'm going to be focusing in on 10 different ways that we can strengthen our prayer life. And then towards the end of the episode, I'm actually going to set aside time for you to practice it. And so I will set this thing up with some music playing in the background. If you're listening to the podcast, that's what you'll have to be able to reflect on based off the episode that just got done and the uh, one of the 10 steps that we just talked about. And if you're watching, then what you will be seeing here in a little bit will be music with like really awesome nature sceneries with some scripture uh, popping up on there for you to be able to just reflect and meditate and all those kinds of things. So we're really going to focus this summer on strengthening um, just our prayer life as a whole. This is something that I know that I need. So I'm really doing this as a challenge for all of us to try together and see if we come on the other side of this after the 10 weeks is over and just be stronger in our prayer life, being able to hear uh, God and to uh, acknowledge his voice and just be able to come to our Heavenly Father with boldness as we're supposed to have. So all that being said, this is the one that I want to start off with for this week that we that we can all practice. And it's going to be setting up, establishing a consistent prayer routine. So um, we need to, if we're going to get stronger at our prayer life, we need to be able to have a consistent prayer routine. I love to tell people I'm a person of my rhythms. I, I'm a person of my routine. I love my routine. I've talked about this on this podcast before. I'm a person of routine. Don't mess up my routine. And sometimes something new comes in to my life and uh, tries to mess up the routine. But if I ever want to just um, add something new to the routine, 
The reality is, is that I have to figure out where to place it in and strategically and intentionally bring that in as part of my life. And the same goes for prayer. If we're going to become stronger in our prayer life, we have to set up a routine that this is just part of what we do as followers of Jesus, and this is what we do as a person who prays. We aren't, I guess the best way that we could say this is the routine that we're trying to establish here is that we're not just a person that prays, but we are a praying person. So that being said, I want to go to Luke chapter 20, uh, Luke chapter 22. And just kind of give you an example of where I see this even with Jesus. So this is Luke chapter 22. We're just finishing up with the Last Supper and Jesus is about to get arrested. And so the supper is over with and they're heading to the Garden of Gethsemane. And uh, Luke records this starting verse 39. It says, then accompanied by the disciples, Jesus left the upstairs room and went as usual to the Mount of Olives. There he told them, Pray that you will not give in to temptation. Now, I want to stop there because what's the most important part to me in all that was found in verse 39, where Jesus, or where it says that Jesus left the upper, upper room, left the upstairs room, and went as usual to the Mount of Olives. This was part of Jesus' routine for his disciples, for the guys that were just hanging out with him and having dinner with him. Jesus did something that for them wasn't out of the ordinary. As usual, Jesus was going to the Mount of Olives and he was going there to pray. So we need to build this into a routine for ourselves that if we're going to be a person who is strong in prayer, that we can't just be a person that prays, but we have to be a praying person and we have to establish a time where we can do that. Now, that might be first thing in the morning, that might be at the end of the day, or that might be both. Maybe you do it in the middle of the day. Whatever it is, you need to build it in as part of your routine. Set an alarm or do whatever you have to do. That way, when that time comes, that's what that time is dedicated for. Now, here is something that I would caution you with. As you set out to do this, don't try to set off, set up like a whole hour to do this. You can, but if this isn't something that you're used to, if there's something that you're not that strong at, maybe just do five minutes, just five minutes of a prayer time this week. Nothing more, nothing less, but five minutes at the same time every single day. Just have that set up as this is the time between you and God. So, that being said, because this is new for many of you, possibly new for many of you, that this is going to be what the rest of this episode is set up for. It's just time for you to be in prayer. You can listen to the music. If you're watching, you can reflect upon the scripture that's going to be popping up on the screen. But just set aside this time. You might be tempted to just fast forward through the rest of this and move on to your next podcast. If I was listening to a podcast that the setup was like this, I would be that person. I'm just being completely transparent with you. I would be the person that I would fast forward and just move on to the next. Our enemy Satan is doing a fantastic job of trying to make us busy because when we're busy, then we're not setting aside time like this to be intentional and in relationship with our Heavenly Father. So don't fast forward. I'm giving you a gift of time to spend with your Heavenly Father. So I'll pray for you as you head into this time. And then I will see you next week for another episode of the Stew on This podcast. Be blessed. Mm-hmm.